So uh, first I want to show you some pictures. And here I have some popular kitchen design. And let's the, uh, the design for the living room or the bedroom. So most of the time we use the loose furniture, but for the kitchen, uh, we most of the time will choose the custom furniture. So which means you will have the single unit of each of the cabinets and try to combine them together. So uh, like this picture here, we have this one light kitchen and you see all the cabinets on one side of the room. And here are some base cabinets, these ones, and some tall cabinets together with some wall cabinets, right? And you will also find these different categories in our uh, public library. And another popular style is this L-shaped kitchen. So in my house, I actually have a kitchen like this. So to make an L-shaped kitchen design, I think the most difficult part is how to deal with this corner. So not only for the base cabinet, but also for the wall cabinet. So how to get this corner uh, done with a perfect design that is uh, what we are going to talk about today. And also we have the U shape, similar, similar to the L shape kitchen, but they have two corners, right? And uh, this is mostly for someone who has a big kitchen. So you have a lot of space to get more of these cabinets on the three sides of the room. Okay, but no matter if you have an L-shaped kitchen or a one line or even a U-shape, uh, another popular style is to have an island in the middle. And this is, all, all, I think it started from the American style. So for most of the American families, you'll find an island in the middle of the kitchen. But I think nowadays it's getting popular in, in other, other countries as well. So how to create an island in the middle and how to get these uh, countertops, especially for the seat side, uh, it's longer, right? So that when you sit here, you will have enough room for your legs. And this is what we are going to uh, introduce. So I have a picture as one example. And today we will use this one as a reference. We will try to recreate the kitchen, a nail ship kitchen together with the island in the middle. But before we start, I'd like to uh, introduce cool home platform with this custom furniture. Okay, so here I already have a room finished, one room with the door and the windows. So we will use it to design an l shaped kitchen. And for the custom furniture part, we will go to here, advanced to kitchen and bath. So this is for the custom furniture part. And you can just take a look at this public library. So let me make it bigger. And here you can see different categories. We have the base cabinet, which means the cabinets you put on the floor and with a shorter head, right? So that is the base cabinet. And we have different categories like a single door, double door, you see? And this double door with a drawer on top. And also you have with the drawers, with different drawers, one, two, three, all different sizes of the drawers so you can find them. And we have the cabinet with a sink as well. So if you need to install a sink on top of the cabinet, you can also choose these ones. Uh, but here is the problem. I have only four different types of cabinet with a sink. So what if you want, let's say three drawers and on top of it, there is a sink. So we didn't find the cabinet style here, but you can Okay, so you don't find the style here, but you can go to withdrawers. Let's get a three cabinet. This small, small, large, right? So I will drag it here to our room. Okay, so you can click on the cabinet and here we have a generate function and you can go uh, generate a sink. And here you can choose the style of the sink. Maybe this one. 
And also you can get a tap if you want to. No, I cannot. One second. All right, anyway, so I will generate a thing first. I think I got stuck here. Uh, one moment. Okay, let's try one more time. So click on the cabinet and then go to generate sync. Here you can choose a style for the sync and then you can add a tab if you want, but I don't know what's happening here. I cannot generate a tab or, okay. Let me uh, reopen this project. I think it got stuck. Okay, here we go. So let me go to the advanced to kitchen and bath one more time. So you can click on the cabinet, go to generate sink, and we will choose the sink style. Okay, let's try this one. And ah, now it works and you can get a tab. This one, and then click generate. Finish. Okay, so now you have a sink on top of the three drawer cabinet. So you don't just need to choose from the uh, with sink, right? Because there are limited styles. You can choose any kind of cabinet you want, and then you can generate a sink. And the same situation for the stove. So you can choose any type of cabinet you want and then generate the stove as you wish, okay? And uh, also we have some functional cabinets. So what do they mean? They're not like the normal door or the uh, drawers. So let me drag one, you will see the difference. Okay, here it is. Oh, sorry. Okay, let me get another door so you can see the difference. Okay, so now let's take a look. Here we have three different types of cabinet, uh, double door, functional, and the drawers, right? So if I open the doors, and you can see, these are the difference. So the one in the middle, the functional one is more like a pull out cabinet. So not like open doors or drawers or pull it out. Okay, and close the doors. And right, let's continue. So what else do we have? We also have some cabinets with appliance. So I know uh, most of you guys want to put an appliance inside of the cabinet. And some of you guys may try to delete the door and open the door, put the oven inside. So you can do that, but in that case, it will be a little bit difficult for you to adjust the position of the cap uh, of the appliance. The easy way to do it is to get a cabinet with appliance, and later you can replace the appliance inside of it. So now, like here, we have a disinfection cabinet, right? So double click, and then you can select the appliance in the middle. Go to the right side. Here we have the style. This is where you can replace it. You see, you can replace it with an oven if you want to. Right, here we go. 
So in that case, it will be easier. You don't need to uh, adjust the position that will be too complicated, right? Okay, and what's more, we also have some open cabinets without the door panels. I think these ones are normally used for the edge. And we have corner cabinets as well. So like I just said, if you want to make an L-shaped kitchen or a U-shaped kitchen, the corner cabinets are very useful. So we have cabinets like this. On this side, you will see a filler. So if you place another cabinet on the other side, uh, there will be a space in between. So you can open the doors on both sides without the problem. And also we have something like this. It's called a pentagon based cabinet or some people call it a diamond based cabinet. So uh, here we like uh, try to use the whole space in the inside. So when you open the door, it's very spacious inside. You can store a lot of things. And we have with the sink. And also we have this type of corner cabinet you can choose. So that really depends on what kind of design you want to make. And we have the chamfer cabinets as well. So if in your kitchen there is a B, uh, there is a column or there is a chimney pipe or water pipe, whatever. So you can use these chamfer cabinets. And for this cut here, you can adjust the size, make it bigger or make it smaller to uh, accommodate to the uh, column you have inside of the kitchen. Okay. And some others like the Pentagon one, the filler one, the sink one, you can all find them here. So this is for the base cabinet. And for the wall cabinets, which means the cabinets on the wall, and we have some different styles as well. And we will not give it a detailed introduction, but you can take a look. And even some craft, craft styles like these ones. You see, and we have the chamfer, for the wall cabinets as well, and also for the corner. Okay, so they can use these ones. And uh, we also have tall cabinets, like here, and the semi-tall cabinets. So the only difference is uh, the height limit. For the semi-tall cabinet, you can see the height is around uh, 13 to 1500, but for the tall cabinets, is most of them are over 2000. So you see the height here? But um, uh, let me give you one little tip. So you see the height limit is here, right? So if I use one of these ones, let me place it in the middle. Okay. So what if I want to change the height of this cabinet? You can just click it, go to parameters, and here you can change the height. Uh, 1,500 is the highest one, right? So what if I want to make it 1,600? Is it possible? From here, you can see the size limit and you can choose if you want to give it a limit or not. So now here is with the limit. So if I want to change it higher, you see, it's not possible. It will directly go to the maximum, which is 1,500. But if I untick the limit here, you can change the size, whatever you want, 1,600 or even 1,800. So there won't be any limit for it. So you can choose from here, set limiting for custom furniture, doors and windows and kitchen and bath, right? So this one really depends if you want to uh, use it or not. Okay, so let me show you one more thing. I will delete this one. Okay, so let me go to the 2D view. You can see the 2D and the 3D at the same time. So I will show you something else. This time, let's take a tall cabinet as example. So here I already got four base cabinets, right? So I want to place another tall cabinet. Okay, so uh, the tall cabinet is here, but when you see the 3D view, you see the size of the tall cabinet. 
is the same as the other face cabinet. So this is actually called the lateral snap function we have here. So when you turn on the lateral snap function, uh, it will be easier for you to place the cabinet, but at the same time, it will change the sizes to the one next to it. So uh, this is good and bad. For the good thing, if you change the height of this one, you don't need to change the size of the other one, right? So they will go all with the same height. But when you place the tall cabinet, there will be the problem like it's not a tall cabinet, but you can always change the height from the right side. Okay, so you can manually change it, but if you uh, turn off the lateral snap function, let's disable it and uh, we will see the difference, okay? Okay, so I delete the tall cabinet, okay? And disable snap. So this time you see, when I place a tall cabinet here, the height, no problem, is the original height, but it won't snap to the base cabinet next to it. You have to carefully adjust the position of it. Don't put it inside of the wall. Don't get it overlap with the other cabinets, right? So the easy way is to enter zero, zero. So I think this one depends on your own preference. If you want it to be easily placed, you can choose the lateral snap. Oh, what happened? Okay, so you can choose, if you want to easily place the cabinet, you can choose a lateral snap. So when you place it, you see, you don't have to adjust the position, but you only need to change the height if it's a tall or semi-tall cabinet, right? Uh, but without this lateral snap, um, height won't be changing, but the position, you need to manually adjust it. Okay, so that is the little tip I can give to you guys. And uh, for others, let's continue. So we also have some uh, tabletop cabinets, some kitchen appliances you can find from here, and also uh, some bathroom cabinets. So if you want to design a bathroom, you can also find the useful cabinets from here. And we also have some auxiliaries. So I like to say a little bit more for this part. And the most commonly used one from the auxiliaries are the fillers and the end panel. So here are the fillers. Uh, when you place the cabinets, no matter for the base, tall, or the wall cabinets, so sometimes there will be a little space between the cabinet and the, the wall, right? So maybe because of the size, or maybe because the wall is not very straight or it's not very even on the surface. And I know most of the professional designers will leave a little space on purpose. Uh, so how to hide this little space? You can use the filler to hide, right? And for the end panel, that is something you can apply to the left or the right side of the cabinet. So if the cabinet is not against to the wall, it's exposed to the outside part. And um, let me get you one example. So I will drag this tall cabinet in the middle of the room so you can see better. All right, so let's change to 3D. So if I want to change the door panel with another style, you can click on it, go to style, and we will choose here, uh, door style. Right, so we will change into uh, someone, maybe it's just this one, okay? This one. Okay, so you see, now we have a style for the door panel. And what if you want to uh, get the left and the right side with the same style? So you cannot change it because this is only the cactus. And for the cactus, you cannot change the style of it. And if this side, I want to get it the same style with the door panel, 
the easiest way is to apply a end panel. Okay, so we will choose a high cabinet end panel on the left side. You can drag it and place it here. It automatically gets the uh, same size on it. So you don't have to adjust the size, right? And how to get it the same style with the door panel. You can click on it, go to style, and here you can choose the door style. You see, you can choose the door style, right? But for the right side without the door panel, we cannot change it. You cannot change it on this side, only the front part. Uh, but an easy way you can also use here to kit and we have the style brush. So you don't have to select, you just need to brush it. Okay, you see exactly the same style. But for the other side without the end panel, you cannot apply it. Okay, so whenever you want to make a style for the left or the right side, just apply a end panel. And you can also delete the unnecessary knob if you don't want. Okay, you see? This is how you use the end panel. Okay, so I think uh, that is most of it. What else do we have? We also have some decorations. So when you finish the basic design of the uh, the kitchen, you can also get some uh, necessary decorations to make the kitchen look natural and alive, right? Okay, anyway, so I think this is the basic introduction of the, cata uh, the public catalog. And later after this training, I hope you can take a close look at each of the category, I try to find out what we have here and try to see if there are the useful uh, style of the cabinets you want. Okay, so back to our slides. And we will use this one, this picture as a reference and try to recreate the kitchen. Okay, so how to make a custom furniture kitchen? There are some main steps. And the first step, you need to know the general layout and the size of the furniture. Those are the size of each of the single unit, right? So in the, in the real situation, I think you may have to go to the customer's house to do the measurement, to uh, talk with the customer to see uh, where they want to put a tall cabinet, where they want to put a base cabinet, right? So once you get it done, and you can follow the layout and you can know the size and then uh, try to get your work done. So that is the first step. The second step, uh, you just need to drag and drop the target cabinet and try to place them into the correct place. Uh, choose the base one, the tall one, the wall, right? And then number three, we can generate some necessary stuff like the foot line, the countertop uh, or the crown molding for the uh, tall cabinet and the wall cabinet. Number four, we will change the styles. Uh, because for most of the kitchen, you will find all the cabinets are with the same styles, same kind of door panels, uh, same kind of materials, right? So you can change them all together. And the last one, we can add the decoration. Not only the pots, the, fl the, the flowers, or the, the, the glasses, but also like some lamps, some chairs, right? So these ones you can try to add. Okay, so let's follow the step and try to recreate the kitchen. Okay, this one, right? Okay, so I will use the 2D view. And this one, it really depends. For the custom furniture, some people prefer the 2D, some people prefer the 3D. So for me, I will show you the 2D for the base cabinet design. And later we can try to use the 3D view to place the whole cabinet. Sure, I appreciate it. So I will put the cabinets on this side and this side. Mm -hmm. on these two sides for the base cabinets. 
and then an Alan in the middle. So first oh, we need to choose a corner cabinet. Okay, maybe this one? Because this is the right corner, right? So we can use this one. Here it is, All right? And for the 3D view, it looks like this one. Mm -hmm. And if you want to change the size of the cabinet, you can also go to the right side. Uh, Cheryl, Cheryl, can you mute the other microphone, please, Cheryl? Where is our host, Cheryl? Can you uh, mute the other guys, please? I think Cheryl is not here. Okay, anyway, let's continue. So, uh, okay, so you can go to the right side and you can change the width, the depth, or the height as you wish. So you can change them into the size you want. But today we will just leave them here with the default size. Okay, so we're not going to change it. That is the first cabinet we have placed. And on the other side, I will put two withdrawers. Maybe this one, two drawers, okay? So you can drag it and place it here because we have the snap function, so you don't have to adjust the position. Very easy. And for the same style, we can make a duplicate. You see, like this. All right, so one side is done. For the other side, uh, let me choose a waste door. Single door with a little drawer, this one. Here it is. So if I zoom in, you will see, this is the, uh, why do we use the corner cabinet? Because here is a filler, so you can see the space. And later when you open the door on both sides, there won't be a problem, right? So from the uh, 3D view, you can also see it here, this little filler, the space right there. Okay, so next, what about, uh, with appliance. So maybe this one right here. Okay. And then let's get a double door. And uh, another single door. This one, maybe. Okay. All right. So I think that is enough for the base cabinet. And we will put another two tall cabinets on the end. Uh, first, let's choose a single door. This one. Okay. And uh, we have one, two, thirty-two left. I will put a double door cabinet. So you see, it will change the width directly into the space we left there. You see, right? Oh, sorry, I forgot to change the height. Okay, taller, and this one as well, taller. Okay, so now we have two tall cabinets, right? But for this one, I think I will make it a little bit smaller. Let's change it to 1,200, okay? So there will be a 32 space left and we'll put a filler there. Remember the filler from the auxiliary category and we need a tall filler on the right side, right? Okay, here it is. You see, that is the filler. And for the 3D view, you can also see the filler right there, but we need to change the size of it. Uh, first, I need to leave a 100 from the floor for the foot line we will generate later. And then the height is 2,000, same as the tall cabinet. 
right here it is. So now you cover the little space, the 32 space between the cabinet and the wall. Okay, so let's move to this side. You see, there is the filler. There is a filler, right? Okay, so now we have done. And then I will put an island in the middle. So for the island, I will also use the double door cabinet. I will use this one, okay. And uh, let's adjust the position. So I will leave 1,200, uh, 1,100 on the other side. So you will have space to move around to cook. And with a duplicate, okay. So that is the island. But uh, the problem is, you see the island in the middle, most of the time, both sides, you can open the door. Or even if you cannot open, there will be doors on both sides. So it will look better, right? And so that's why I will place another door panel on the back. So the front, we already have the doors. And for the back, I will apply another door panel. So for the left and the right, we can use the end panel. But for the back, we cannot. We can only use the door panel from the parts. So from the parts, we have door panels. And you can get a door panel, apply it to the back. But uh, let's see, if I just choose the door panel, you see, you cannot get it. It will only go to the front part, but not the back. And how to apply a back panel, uh, a door panel on the back. So this one requires you to go here, design internal zone, okay? And then you can click on it from the rotate. That is the front selected, left, top, back. So when the back part is selected, you see the color changed, right? You see the color changed. So that means you have successfully select the back. And now we can apply a door panel. You see? So now the door panel is there, right? But from the front, there are two doors. Then I can use here, we have a divide, uh, vertically or horizontally, or how many doors you want to divide them. Okay, you see? Finish. Now we have the door panels, right? And you don't need to worry about the style because later we will change the style together. Okay, so let's uh, do one more time for the other one. Go to internal zone. Select the back. Apply the door panel. And cut it into two. Okay, finish, right. Okay, so now we have applied the door panel on both sides, right? But the problem is if I open the doors, you will see this door panel is too thick. There are already the cactus at the back. You cannot reach anything inside, right? So we need to delete this one here, double click. Double click and select it, and then you can delete. So now you can open from both sides, right? And then we can close the doors. All right, so now uh, the island is finished. We just need two more wall cabinets. Let's go to the wall cabinets. Mm, I think we will just choose the simple ones, this one. And you can also adjust the position of it if you want it to be higher or if you want it to be lower, maybe uh, 400 to the top. And you can also make this cabinet a little bit uh, shorter if you want, so you can change the height a bit. Okay, uh, maybe 600, like this. Okay, and you can also make it the same height with the other one. Because here we have, uh, let me see, 700 to the top, right? 
and this one also 700 to top. So perfect, right? And I will just make a duplicate. Okay, so now it's done. And they are also on the same level. Looks very nice. Okay, so I think we have finished the uh, step two to drag and drop all the cabinets according to the layout. And uh, next one, we need to generate some necessary stuff. The first, I need to get a sink and a stove, right? So click here, I want to generate a sink here. Go to this little hammer, sink. Uh, the style is already chosen from the previous one, right? And also the tab, you can add one. Generate, finish. Okay, there it is. And on the other side, let's generate a stove here. Generate a stove. You can choose a style, maybe a bigger one. This one. And then if you need a chimney hood, you can also get one from here. Okay. How about uh, this one? So generate. And finish. Okay, uh, but I think the stove and the uh, chimney hood are too close to the wall, right? So let's move the position. Oh, sorry. So click on this one and uh, 3D move and rotate. And now you can move it, right? Move it to the position you want here. And you can also move the chimney hood. But if you just move like this, you cannot, or it's difficult for you to get these two on the same line, right? So how to get two or more than two atoms on the same line? First, uh, I want the stove to be here, right? So select the stove first and press shift on your keyboard. Then select the chimney hood. The two atoms are selected. And go to here, we have the align function. Uh, I want them to align center on X axle. So you see, now they are on the same line, right? You don't have to look uh, if they are on the same line. This one is uh, something very easy for you to, to align them. Okay, so now we have done. And uh, let's generate the foot line. For the foot line, we want to generate every cabinet on the floor. So you don't have to select one by one and to generate, no. You can just directly go here. We have the hammer here as well. And the foot line, all the cabinets on the floor will be automatically selected. So you don't have to do it one by one. You just need to choose the style and the material. Maybe this one, and then generate. Okay. Finish. Okay, you see all the foot line are done, right? All the foot line are done. And for the countertop is the same. You don't need to select directly go here, generate countertop. Choose the style. So if you need a backsplash, you can also get one from here and choose the material. I see, let's get a marble for this one. Okay, here, generate. And finish. Okay, so you see we have the countertop and let's get closer. You can see the backsplash is right there. And uh, here comes the problem. Like I said at the beginning, I want to sit on this side of the island to have my meals. So I need the countertop to be a little bit longer. When I sit here, I will feel comfortable, right? So you can just select on this countertop and uh, roll down. 
you will see here we have the extent to all the four sizes, uh, all the four directions, sorry. And this is the front part. So we will extend to from 200. Okay, so you see now this part is longer. And when you sit here, uh, you, you will have some room for your legs. All right, next one uh, for the crown mounting. Uh, Rico, can you mute your microphone, please? And for the crown mounting, let's go. Same as the foot line and the countertop. I, maybe this one. And the material will choose the same one. And you can actually change the height of the crown mounting if you want it to be uh bigger or smaller okay finish i see there's one question how to extend half of the countertop uh if you want to extend only half you have to generate one by one so uh, let me see so let me delete this one so you can click this one click one Okay, and then generate the countertop. Okay, and uh, click the other one to generate the countertop. This one, we don't have the extend, right? So uh, here, zero. So if you want to generate, if you want them to be with a different, and uh, you have to generate two times, but uh, okay, this one, I think I need to fix it a little bit. Uh, not outside, inside. It's this one. Okay, and this one as well. Uh, not onset, inset. Okay, so you see, now it's like this. So it's actually like two half of the countertop, right? Okay, so now I think we have finished, right? And the next step uh, is to change the styles of the cabinets. I think only the wall cabinets are different because the door panels are with the glass, right? Uh, but anyway, we will change them all together and we later we will fix the wall cabinets individually because in that way it's easier. You don't have to change one by one. Okay, so for changing the style, you can go here and we have style. Okay, here you can change the cactus material, this lighter blue one. All right, so all the cactus material have changed. If you open the doors, you can see the inner part, the cactus all changed, right? Okay, and then we can change the door style. Let me choose, how about this one, frame door number three, let's use this one. So all the door panels are changed. These ones didn't change because that's the drawers. Okay, so all the door panels are changed. And uh, this color. Okay, all right. And the knobs, you can change a knob style. What about this modern style? Okay, all right, and for the drawers, you just need to do it one more time. The drawer style, material, and the knobs, right? But if you don't want to change from here, you can also use the spell brush, do you remember? So the spell brush can help you to get 
it with the same style in a very fast way. So let's brush on the drawers. And this one too. Okay. So you see, now we finish even the back. Oh, it also changed, right? But for the island, maybe uh, for this side, maybe you don't want the handle. You can just click on it, go to style, and you can delete the knob. And this one as well, delete the knob, right? So for any individual changes, you can just uh, click on it and go to style to change. Let me see questions. How can we change the knob handle for selected door and there? Oh, yes, right. So just now we, if you don't need the handle, you just delete it, right? If you want to change the position. Okay, so you can just click on this one, roll down for the knobs here, how to install it. You can ch change the position where you want to be, maybe on the other side. And if you want it to be vertically or horizontally, so you see? It changed, right? So you can go roll down, go to knobs, how you want to install it in the middle, maybe move to the middle. So you can change the position, you can rotate it, and you can also change here, the elevation. So maybe you want it to be a little bit higher. You see, it moves to the higher part, right? So you can change the position styles from here. And what other questions? Let me see. Uh, how to apply my uploaded material to this kitchen other than, ah, uh, yes. So for the uploaded, um, okay, it's the same, right? No matter from here style or from the individual, right? So if you want to change the material, we have the public catalog which means all the free materials we have. But for the enterprise catalog, these are the material you uploaded by yourself. So all the materials you uploaded will go to enterprise catalog. You just select enterprise catalog and then you can apply them. So the, the method will be the same, only you go to a different uh, place to find it. Okay. And if you guys have more questions, just keep typing in the chat box. Uh, let me see what else. How to add strip lighting. Okay, we will uh, fix this one later. And how to install G profile handles in wall cabinets with glass. Uh, okay, so let me change the style of these ones first. Okay. So for all the door panel styles or the handle styles, you can, if you cannot find them, if you cannot find them in our public library, you have to upload your own ones to the enterprise catalog. Okay, so that depends uh, if you can't find the same style or not. If you cannot find it in our public library, you have to create your own ones and upload to the enterprise catalog, okay? So here, let's change them to the one with the glass. This one, okay, we'll use this one. And uh, the, the, the material, the blue one, and the knobs, let's change it to the modern style, right? This one. Okay, so you see this one have finished. And if you want the other one to be with the same, you have to, you can use style brush, so you don't have to change it one more time. So now this one we have finished, right? Uh, if you want a different type of the knobs, the only way I can show you is try to look if you can find the G style you want from the public library. If you cannot find it, you have to upload to your enterprise catalog. So create the models and upload it here. And uh, let me see what other questions. Uh, stripe, right? Light, light stripe. 
Okay, so for the last step, you uh, only need when you have, sometimes you may find it to put it underneath the cabinet here, right? Or maybe inside of the cabinet, if you have the glass door, like these ones, right? Like these ones. So first you can, uh, you can open the doors or you can hide the doors. So we can also hide the doors. And uh, after you install the light strip and then you can uh, unhide the door, right? So from here, uh, we have the light strip in the, I think in the auxiliary, is it here? No, oh, in the parts maybe, or in the, uh, I'm not sure, let me search. Okay, here, uh, you can find the shelves with the light strip. So you can directly use it. Or you can find the light bar. Okay, or you can use these ones. Cabinet uh, inner shelf light strip. So we will just use this one and we will try to place this on the shelf. Okay, so you can get one from here. It's right there. Okay, right, it's right there, the blue one. And you can also uh, change the position of it if you want to, but I think it's already there for the right position because the snap function, right? So we'll put another one underneath here, see? Okay. So that is the easy way to do it. And if you want to not use this one, you can also, uh, double click to delete this one, the, sh the shelf in the middle. And we can use something like this. So the shelf already, the glass shelf already with the last rib. So you can replace it with someone like this. Okay. And place it here. Okay. So this is how you get it. Let's see if you have any other ones. Mm. She still is available in this catalog, then you can replace it. Uh, for the pro account, I'm not sure. It's an individual account, right? For the individual account, I don't think you have the, I don't think you can upload the materials. I'm, I'm not sure. So you can check. Uh, in your uh, WhatsApp group, I don't think so. From my side, I don't think you can upload your own ones. But uh, yeah, for the enterprise users, I think it's possible to upload your own models or the materials, the textures. Okay, anyway, so I think from my side, this is almost done. And let's see if you guys have more questions, you can keep uh, tapping in the chat box. And we add our uh, floating shelves in between the wall cabinet and the tall cabinet. Uh, yes, some clients will ask for open shelves, but without the backing. Uh, customize AI template kitchen. Uh, for the AI template, we uh, it's a little bit difficult, different for the custom furniture. You can use it, but it won't be same as the one you apply with the loose furniture. So you need to make more adjustment later, okay? Uh, I will show you the open shelves later. For the open shelf, there are two options. Okay, there are two options. So you can uh, find some like this one. So uh, I don't know if I can delete it. Let's see. So like this, you can uh, delete the unnecessary stuff and you just leave the shelf there, okay? So you can just leave the shelf there, but I think the easy way is to, uh, okay, so you can just leave the shelf there to delete the other unnecessary stuff. But uh, you can also use our open cabinets from our wall cabinets. 
You can also use some open cabinets like these ones. And if you only want one shelf, you can also not from the uh, cust uh, custom furniture part, you can also go to our floor planner. So from the floor planner in the public library, you can also find some open shelves. Right, so you can also find some open shelves uh, with different styles, not only for the one on the floor or on the tabletop. So you can find a lot more different styles from here. Mm, that is another option you can use. Okay, so, and I see Cheryl already sent the feedback link in the chat box. And uh, for everyone who is here today, please take your time to click on the link and give us a uh, feedback. And how to group this kitchen and save to add favorites. Ah, yes, you can do that. Okay, so let's go to advance to kitchen and bus again. Uh, for example, if you want to use this one, the island, you want to save it to use it for the future. When, when one side the countertop is longer, one side is shorter. So press shift on your keyboard and select this island. So whenever you want to select more, uh, two or more than two items, you can press shift to select, right? And then you can uh, group them. You can group them. And then you can uh, add them to favorite. And you can choose where you want to add titles. So you can add them to favorite. And then you can go to my personal account. Here you will find that combination I have saved. This is the one I just saved, you see? And later, when you use it in other projects, you can just drag and drop. So they will be applied to the uh, project as a group or as a one unit. There are way to get a kitchen plan with measurement automatically on it. Uh, yeah, you can go here. We have the construction drawings. So from the drawings, you will see the layout and you will see the size of the uh, furniture. So I think it's a little bit slow. Okay, here. Okay, so you see, and for each of the cabinets, they will be generated the name, all the dimensions. So when you click on the numbers, so it will show you that is the, the, the length, the depth here, right? So uh, you can see from the construction drawing part, there will be the drawing for the whole room and also some elevation views you can see, right? So this is like the elevation view for the two uh, tall cabinets. Let's automatically generate the dimension for it. So you can see from here. Uh, yes. Okay, let's see. 2D elevations and plug it in our customized layout. Okay, this is how you generate the 2D elevation view. So from here, you see this 1A and you can change the range of it. So now 1A is for this side, right? So um, and you also have the 3D on the other side and you can check the elevation view. 1A, this is a 1A elevation view. So when it's generated, you can just download it or you can check the drawing layouts. And here is the cover. I think you can customize the cover as well with your own logo, with the own uh, layout. And then you can download the necessary stuff as you wish. So you can choose which one you want to download it. Maybe you don't need all the pages, right? So you can download the one you need. 
how to customize our cover layout. Uh, for this one, you cannot do it by yourself. You have to, if you are an enterprise user, you can contact your CSC. We will have the engineer team to help you, our tech team to help you to customize your cover layout. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, everyone, please fill out the feedback form that Cheryl sent to the group. And uh, if you have more questions, you can keep asking. If you don't have any more questions, I think you can leave. Uh, that is the end for today's webinar. For more questions, I will stay here for a little bit longer. So if you have more questions, don't be shy to ask. Project name, okay, so for the project name, um, you can change by yourself. Okay, so uh, for example, this one, right? When you finish it, this is the one I just use, it will be right here. So you can change the project name from here, rename, to give it any name you want, okay? So that depends on you how to name it. You can give it a new name as you wish. Uh, in your cover layout, okay, so your cover layout is actually automatically generated, but according to the name you give it to. So if you give your project a name, it's kitchen, it will show kitchen on the, on the layout. So it won't change from time to time. How to import the boxes in wall cabinet? What do you mean boxes? How to, okay, sorry, I think mine is stuck. One second. How to boxes of spices? Ah, okay, right. Uh, that one is easy. One second, let me show you. In the wall cabinet, first you need to open the doors, open the doors of the cabinet, and then you can just uh, like what we did with other things, drag and drop, and to change the position, that's it. So go to kitchen and bath. Okay, I think it's a little bit slow. Okay, so um, you can open the doors or you can hide the doors like this one. I have already hide the doors, right? Or you can open the doors and then you can uh, first, let's go to the decoration. And you can choose maybe bottles and cans. So you can just put it. Okay. And you can move the move it to the right position. Or you can uh, let me show you a bigger one so you can see better this one. All right. So uh, this is the jar. Okay. So you can uh, drag it to the right position as you want. And you will see here, eight space, put it zero, it will be on top of the job. And you can use these arrows to change the position of it, okay? So just like you place with others, so you can uh, first open the door or hide the door and then place the things inside of the cabinet or on top of the, uh, the countertop. So that will be the same. And you can easily move around to the position, okay? All right, so, okay, I think that will be enough for today, right?
And thank you guys. And hopefully you can have a try afterwards. And later, if you have questions, keep asking and keep joining into our future webinars. Uh, food line is set to 100. Oh no, it doesn't have to, you can change. So uh, everything I use today is by default and you can change the size of the cabinets. You can change the size of the foot line or the crown molding. So all the sizes you can change. So you don't change them every time. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. <laughs> so except the default size uh, for all the, all the other sizes you have to change by yourself manually. Okay, so thank you guys. Have a very good day. See you next webinar.